Good afternoon, brethren. Welcome to our Wednesday uh, service, which is actually a prayer, a midweek prayer. Uh, today I'll be encouraging you with a few scriptures which I'm going to paraphrase. But before I do that, I will just um, uh, sort of remind you of what difficult times or could term them as interesting times that we are living in. We have so many ills in the society. Think of uh, human trafficking. There's so much going on these days uh, concerning human trafficking. Uh, there's also a lot of fake news that are circulating. Uh, most of them are malicious. They have a clear um, objective to achieve maybe to discourage people from patronizing a certain uh, object, sorry, um, a certain product, or to discourage people from visiting a certain place. So we have so many of such fake news. Unfortunately, we keep on forwarding these fake news uh, and also trying to, in, in the process, uh, spreading those uh, fake news. The Bible also speaks of uh, false prophets and, and false teachers that are going to increase in the last day. If you just go back to the early months of uh, COVID, there's so much which was being said about COVID in relation to prophecies and, and stuff like that. I'm not judging anyone here, but what I'm simply saying, if something, if something is of certain color, and you have two people who are arguing that one is arguing that is blue, the other one is arguing that is green. Obviously, it means that this particular object cannot be both green and blue. It means someone, someone out there is not telling the truth. So there are such messages that have gone out there, so which is also concerning because as a body of Christ, we seem to be sending mixed messages out there. There's also a lot of corruption that is taking place, which is actually affecting the livelihoods of many people. So these are some of the ills that we are living in. Also think about gender-based violence, which is on the rise, which is also a concern to the extent that the government, the president himself, is trying to champion a solution to such an ill. We have so many isms. When I talk about isms, I'm talking about things like such as racism. There's also a lot of racism and other isms where people discriminate each other based on color, uh, creed, or, or tribe. We have also a number of challenges that we are facing during this time. Obviously, COVID is one of those challenges that we are facing. Uh, we all pray, we all hope that it will be uh, the thing of the past soon. We wish to narrate such tales to our, for, uh, our children, or in our case, in other cases, our grandchildren, that no, we lived in the era of COVID. Just like our forefathers, when we grew up, they used to tell, about, tell us about the influenza, the year of influenza, and how they survived it. So we wish that we also live to tell such a tale. There's also a challenge concerning water at the moment. The city is running dry. The dam which is supplying the city is at critical level. I spoke with the technician from the municipality during the week. They told me that the situation is dire. So we need to go to, go to God and cry to him. We need to go to the mountain where our help come, comes from and pray because our help comes from the Lord, as Psalms 21 says. Let's be mindful of that. Think about the jobs. So many people have lost jobs. Uh, the economy is not doing well. Uh, economists are, are forecasting that we'll be able to recover after a while, after a number of years. In the meantime, people will be suffering. But with God, all things are possible. The Bible also says to he who believes all things are possible. Let's go before God 
and exercise our faith and believe that as we pray, you will hear us and will answer our prayers. Let's be encouraged by Daniel in chapter 9. When Daniel went before the Lord, he confessed his sins and the sins of his people, the sins of Israel. While he was still praying, the Bible says, Gabriel, the man himself, came to Daniel and touched him with the message. And the answer came there, right there, when we were still praying. So as we open our hearts, let's be filled with faith and let's believe that God is going to answer our prayers. Let's pray for the water, that the rain should fall in the next few days. We have to also pray for the spiritual rain. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. Let's pray that we be filled with the Holy Spirit and be led by the Holy Spirit. As much as we pray for all other things, let's pray that you be spirit-led. Let's pray that the water situation can be solved. The only way that the water situation can be solved is for the rains to rain. And this is not only in the country that we have a problem. It is a, a problem of the region. Let's pray earnestly before God and ask him to send the rains, the early rains and the later rains, so that in the future we don't have, won't have this problem of water. I thank you. Let's pray.